All right, here we go with lesson 8-7. We are going to be solving equations in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Um, and we're going to start by factoring trinomials in that form, and then we'll move on to solving equations in that form. What's different about the trinomials in today's lesson versus yesterday's, Heidi? There's another variable. There's another variable on there. This time there is a coefficient other than 1 in front of the x squared, sorry, is the leading coefficient. So, um, so the, the trinomials are just getting a little more complex is all that means. There, there's more numbers to deal with. Um, in yesterday's lesson, we started off all of our binomials uh, as we were factoring looking like this, right? Well, if we have a number, a leading coefficient other than one, then there's going to have to be some other numbers involved with those, uh, with those binomials as we factor. Um, and so here we're just going to jump right into it, and we're actually going to learn a new method today. Um, for those of you who are doing okay with the factoring, who are, who are kind of seeing the way they fit together, um, you may still just like the method of starting out with um, the parentheses and going through that, and that's fine. If you're seeing it, you can do that. That's great. I'm going to show you another method. It's not really, I wouldn't call it a shortcut, but it's just kind of an algorithm that, that maybe will help you get the... Uh, um, the trinomials factored a little more easily. Uh, so the box method is going to look like this. We're just going to draw, oddly enough, a box. Divide it into four sections, four quadrants. And you're going to take your first term, which is 2x squared, oops, squared, and you're going to put your last term, which is 15, down here. Okay. Now, we're going to take 2 times 15, which is 30. So that's the number we're going to work with, 30. And I want to know the factors of 30. What, <laughs> what numbers multiply to 30? Okay, how about, let's, let's make a nice neat list here. 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 2 and 15 3 and 10. 3 and 10. 5 and 6. And once you get to this where they're, they're either the two numbers are the same or they're just right next to each other like this, we don't need to keep going because what we'd get is like 6, 5, 10, 3, and then we've got the same numbers listed, right? And you won't have to make this list on every one of them. But now I want to choose the numbers from this list that they multiply to 30, but they add to this number. Three and ten. Three plus ten is thirteen. So all you have to do now is take this. I'm going to do three x, and I'm going to do a ten x. And it doesn't matter which order you put them in. If you put the ten x up here or the three x down here, it, it it's okay if you switch the order of those. Does that make sense? Okay. Now we're just going to we're going to take one kind of one block of things at a time. When you look at two x squared and three x, what factors do they share with one another? an x. So we can factor an x out of there. And 10x and 15, what do they share? 5. Okay. And then we'll look this direction, 2x squared and 10x. What do they share? 2x. Okay, because a 2x will go into both of these. And then 3x and 15, what do they share? Not 5. Not x, just 3. Okay, these are our binomials now. So x plus 5 and 2x plus 3. And that's it. So if we FOIL this, x times 2x is 2x. You don't have to do this, but I'm just showing you 2x squared. x times 3 is 3x. 5 times 2x is 10x. And then 5 times 3 is 15. And when we simplify that, 2x squared plus 13x plus 15. So we get, we checked it. It works. Okay? Does that make sense? You like that box? I like it. I don't know about you guys. If you don't like it, you don't have to use it. But I'm going to keep using it through these. So we're going to factor this trinomial. Use the box method again. So 7x squared and 
4 go here. So what do we do next? 7 times 4 is 28. And really, you don't have to make a whole list of factors. Okay, what are the factors of 28 that will add up to 29? 1 and 28. Okay, I know those two factors will add up to, so 1x and 28x. All right, so what, my, what are my factors for 7x squared and 1x? x, 28x and 4. 4, 7x and 28, 7x squared and 28, 7x, and then 1x and 4. 1. Yeah, you have to have a number. You have to have something. So for any two numbers that you can come up with, they always share the factor of 1, right? So if you can't find any other factor, it's got to be a 1. So now our binomials are 7x plus 1 and x plus 4. And that one is factored. Okay, 2x squared minus n minus 1. Let's use the box here. So 2n squared and a minus 1. So 2, uh, actually just, actually, sorry, you don't put the minus there. It's just 2n and 1. So what's 2 times 1? 2, and the factors are 1 and 2, so we'd have a 1n and a, now, one, one not a 1, I've got to have a 1 and a 2, but it's got to equal what? Negative 1. It's got to equal negative 1, so what do I have to have? Well, negative 1n and a 2n? Negative 2n. Negative 2 in. There you go. It's got to be a negative 2 plus a positive 1 gives you a negative 1, right? So you got to keep track of those. So now, what are my two factors with 2 in and 1 in? N. Factors with 2 in and 1 would be a 1. And since this box is negative, this number has to be negative. Factors of 2n squared and 2n, positive 2n, and then 1n and 1. 1. Since this one is positive, then this would be a plus. So it's going to be 2n plus 1 times n minus 1. Is there a question? Okay. Um, so anytime you have a minus sign in any of these boxes, if you factor something out, wherever that, uh, that box is touching that edge, any factors next to that box that's negative have to have a minus sign. Does that make sense? I didn't say that very well. But hopefully you can see it here by this example. All right. Um, next, you need to take note of this trinomial. Um, we can simplify this trinomial before we begin factoring. Um, what's a, what's a factor that will come out of this trinomial first? Five. And so we could rewrite this trinomial as five times uh, ten, not ten y squared, that defeats the whole purpose. If, if you take a 5 out, then it's going to be 2y squared minus what? 7y plus 6. Okay, and then let's factor this trinomial. That's going to make life easier. Um, if we tried factoring this one, then it gets, it gets kind of messy because we need to simplify it first. Okay, um, so we use the box here. We've got a 2y squared and a plus 6. So my numbers are, 
or the number I have to factor is 12. What are the factors of 12? 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, and then it would reverse. Um, so I need two numbers that multiply to a positive 6 and add to a negative 7. But my factor is 12. Or that multiply, I'm sorry, that multiply to negative 12 and add to negative 7. It doesn't multiply to negative 6. It multiplies to negative 12. Or, 12. Sorry, I'm having trouble speaking English. It multiplies to this number, 12. But it adds to this number. Negative 7. Okay, so if we had a negative 3 and a negative 4, negative 3 times negative 4 multiplies to positive 12, right? Negative 3 plus negative 4 equals negative 7. Okay, that works. Sorry. hate it when I can't speak right. Uh, so minus 3y and minus 4y. Okay, so now 2y squared and 3y, what's my common factor? y. 4y and 6. 2. And since it's got a minus sign right here, I need to have a minus 2. Okay. 2y squared and 4y is 2y. And then negative 3y and 6. It's going to be 3, but since this one is minus, it's going to be a minus 3 right here. Okay. So my factors then are 2y minus 3 and y minus 2. Sorry, I feel like I butchered that one as we were going through it, but hopefully it made sense. Are any of you working ahead on these? On the notes? Have you run into any problems yet? All right. I like it when people try to work ahead and then get stumped. All right, so 4x squared and 5. So what number am I factoring? 20. What are the factors of 20? 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. And that's all we need. So I need two numbers that multiply to 20 and add to negative 3. Y'all are strangely silent. Four and, five. four and five. Four times five is twenty. Negative. Negative four and negative five would be positive twenty. But then negative four plus negative five is negative nine. Do you see a problem here? It doesn't work. This one can't be factored with integers, and so it is called a prime tri uh, polynomial. Um, and so sometimes you're going to run across some that can't be factored, and it's just, it's prime. So just to throw that into the mix, now that you've learned how to factor some things, we're going to throw some at you that every now and then can't be factored. And so you've got to be okay with that. Now, the temptation there is to say, wow, this one looks hard. It must be prime and give up on it. That doesn't work. So, um, you know, actually go through the motions and try and see if it'll factor. All right, let's move along. Now we're going to solve some equations using the box method. It's really the same. All, all we need to do is factor it. And then once we have the two binomial factors, uh, we set them to zero, right? Sure. Sure. So what numbers go in the box? 2x squared. 2x squared and 9. So what number am I factoring? 18. 18. Factors of 18 are 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6, and that's it. 
Okay, so I need two numbers that multiply to 18, add to 9. Three and six. That one's pretty simple. Okay, so three x, six x. Factors of two x squared and three x. X, six x and nine. Three, two x and six x. Two x, and then three x and nine. Three. Okay, so it's all positive, so they're going to be two uh, x plus three equal. Uh, Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got carried away. 2x plus 3 times x plus 3 equals 0. And then you set each factor to 0. So x plus 3 equals 0. So x is negative 3. And then you have 2x plus 3 equals 0. 2x equals negative 3. So divide 2, and x is negative 3 halves. So your solutions are x equals negative 3 comma negative 3 halves. Okay? All right, solve each equation using the box method. Numbers in the box are 3x squared and 8. 3 times 8 is 24. That's what we're factoring. So 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. They multiply to 24, add to negative 10. Negative 4 and 6. Negative 2 and positive 12. Ooh. Uh oh. It's prime. It's not prime. We've got, it's not that we don't have a solution. We've got two solutions. You've got to think it through. One of them will work, one of them won't. Negative 2 and negative 12. It wouldn't be negative 2. Negative 2 and negative 12 multiply to positive 24. But negative 2 and negative 12 add to negative 14. So if we switch some signs around, then 2 and 12 might work. But 4 and 6 is the only one that works with the signs we have. Negative 4 times negative 6 is positive 24. Negative 4 plus negative 6 is negative 10. Okay? So make sure that it works with the signs that you have. So we'll use negative 4x and negative 6x. All right, so 3x squared and 4x x, negative 6x, and 8, two. negative 2, since there's a negative sign right there. Okay, 3x squared and 6x, 3x, and then negative 4x and 8, minus 4. So 3x minus 4, and x minus 2 equals 0. So we can solve those, 3x minus 4 equals 0. 3x equals 4, x equals 4 thirds, and then we've got x minus 2 equals 0, so x equals 2. So x equals 4 thirds, or it equals 2. All right, last one. Whew. Okay, box method. My boxes are getting sloppier and sloppier. Mm -hmm. 2x squared and 30. So what number are we factoring? 60. So do I, do I really need to check 1 and 60? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. What about 2 and 30? No, that's not going to work. How about 4 and 15? 4 and 15. Okay, let's see how it sounds reasonable. Uh, say it again, 5 and five and 12. Ooh, I like that one. That's looking good. Okay, so let's try 5 and 12. Negative 5 times negative 12 is positive 60. And negative 12 plus negative 5 is negative 17. So I like that. Negative 5x, negative 12x. 
2x and 5x would have x, 12x and 30. Um, not 4, 6. You want the biggest number that you can take out of those? Negative 6. So negative 6, okay? If you take out a negative 2, then you're not going to have it factored properly. Um, so 2x and 12x would be 2x and then 5x and 30. Minus 5. 5. All right. So our factors are x minus 6 and 2x minus 5. That equals 0. 2x minus 5 equals 0. So 2x equals 5. <laughs> x equals 5 over 2. x minus 6 equals 0, so x equals 6. x equals 5 over 2 or 6. All right, oops, don't put parentheses. Um, so the assignment will be on a worksheet uh, three through, just like yesterday, it's 3 through 30 multiples of 3 and then do the two word problems at the end.